against this window? Sand of the world. Oh, many, oh. Many years ago, some of the volunteers got me started looking, collecting sand. And then I started, I started uh, sledding, asking volunteers to pick up sand. <laughs> you call me. that sledding? Sand sledding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, officially a sand collector is a, an aren, arenologist or arenopolist. Uh-huh. Um, oh, I, I have a friend uh, named Al Trujillo who is also an arenologist. And he is going to love this. Oh, good. Um, yeah, the volunteers have been amazing at getting stuff. There's some neat, neat. What's your favorite one? I was hoping you'd ask that. It, it's really cool because my favorite one is one of the easiest to find. I think it's the, it's not it. See the purple in there? Put it up in the sunlight. Those oh my gosh. Those are garnets. Whoa. And that's from um, Big Sur. That's from Julia Pfeiffer Burn State Park. And if you walk out onto the beach, you'll see swirls um, where the garnets have settled out separately from Oh, the yeah. Um, Differential settling. Exactly. It all came from sitting out here watching this action over the years. I never had the geology bug. And then. Um, uh, this is probably the most, I'm, I'm not sure I'm proud of this, but I'm, I love it. Um, this is from the Galapagos, this beautiful maroon. Ooh, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, Rabita Island, is that what it's called? Um, the color is just unreal. Mm. Occasionally a volunteer will come back from a, a visit somewhere and they'll just bring me a rock. The British Columbian coast, you know, they just like bring me a rock and go, here's the sand. A rock and a hammer. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, this is cool, this brown, this red sugar is, is Utah, common in Utah. Um, most of the stuff, sometimes I get these, you know, big packets, this is more like, but I just, it's so beautiful, I can't throw it away. Um, yeah. So even if I've got what I need for my little container, that's Joshua Tree. Uh, I'll get Lake. you. Uh, do you have any from Lake Superior yet? I don't have any from the Great Lakes, I don't think at all. Mm, yeah. I'll get you some. That would be lovely. Be wonderful. So you've obviously found a good source for containers. Yeah, yeah. I, it, you know, I feel bad about promoting the plastics industry, but it's, it's a tap plastics. Um, I love the range of what we call sand. I mean, just looking at a lot of sand versus a, a crystalline sand or a... Um, some of these that are just solid shells. Look at that, it's just solid shells. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. And then the sand people have every grain size has, you know, it's like you move up two millimeters and you go from sand to, I don't even think that's gravel, I think it's pebbles. Um, gravel is something in between, but each one that would be more like gravel here. But uh -huh. Each one has its own geological name for what size it is right um so i've gotten everything labeled it's kind of cool it's costa rica lava sand um and at least 60 volunteers have brought me stuff over the years so um just bay area sand by itself is pretty damn interesting um so late at night i pull out my my dissecting scope and i spill this stuff into a little like a little top of a jar cap and, and just stare at it and imagine how rich I would be if this was <laughs> just blown up in size. You know, that's really the beauty of it. It's it's such beautiful stuff sitting close. So look at this pen that's beautiful here. Yeah, yeah, that is super cool. Um so several of my nature buddy uh friends, nature bridge buddies have said, Hey Alan, when you retire um, we want to get this collection for Nature Bridge, so mm. um, you could divide this up quite a bit, quite a few different ways. Yeah. Where, where are these from? Let's take a look. I, honestly, I don't remember most of them until I read the labels. Um, some of the reds are really exquisite. Uh, so that's Goblin Valley, Utah. That's this one. Uh, Sedona, Arizona. 
Goblin Valley. Um, some of name. the reds are um, Sahara. There's some Sahara Desert sand in here. Uh, probably deeper down because I've had them a long time. I don't know Goblin Valley. Do you know it? No. Uh, there's it's Death, a great name, though. Death Valley. This stuff is just so beautiful. There's Australia, Roebuck Bay, Australia. Yeah. It, that's part of the beauty for me. Is, is I've taped it all for you. Thank goodness. Um, is how it's uh, <laughs> is just you know it sort of puts you in touch with the surface of the planet all around this huge beautiful globe. Yeah. Uh, it's Sedona too. Zion. Yeah, I don't know much about Great Lakes sand at all. I don't know much about the Great Lakes. They're fascinating to me, though. Really interesting. 